Hi guys, this is Megan from the blog WilsonHomestead.com and today I have some very exciting news. Shush! Anyway, we have a new animal here on the homestead. We got meat rabbits. This is something we've been wanting to do for a little while and we just took the plunge and we have a friend who raises meat rabbits to actually sell to a restaurant around here. So we bought some breeding stock from her and so now we have five meat rabbits. We have four does and one buck. So we've just been setting everything up for them. Luke built all new cages that are absolutely amazing. He set up this super cool watering system and we had to buy them all new feeders and so we've just been busy getting them all set up and good to go and learning as much as we can about rabbits and what feed they need and what hay they need and we didn't know that they needed some wood in their cages to keep their teeth ground down and they needed a mineral block. And so we've just been learning all kinds of fun things about rabbits. And so I'm excited to take you guys along with us on the journey and hopefully have some great videos for you guys later as we are learning more. Here's one of the rabbits. This is one of the white New Zealands. We have two white New Zealand females and one black New Zealand male. And then the other two does we have are cinnamons. So we have a nice mix of different kinds of rabbits so their babies are gonna be all spotted and colorful and we're never gonna know what we're gonna get, which is super fun. These white rabbits have red eyes and it's freaky. Here's the two little cinnamons. This is Latte and Mocha. <laughs> They're still really young and they are so cute. Here's the oldest rabbit. This is also a white New Zealand female. She's already had a litter of babies. She's only had one. She's still pretty young, but she's our oldest one. She's quite large. You can see she's not the most tame, but she's really big and fat. And she has this beard of fat right here. It's funny. And here's the black New Zealand male. This is Blackbeard. <laughs> He's probably our wildest one. We've been trying to work on getting him a little tamer. So you can see he's doing pretty well, but he's, he's still a little jumpy. So the reason we got four does and one buck is we calculated how many bunnies they would have even if we even calculated low. We should get about 400 pounds of meat from them a year. So we can safely say that we'd have at least a pound a day of rabbit to eat throughout the whole year. As long as we keep breeding through them throughout the winter, we'll obviously give them a break in between so that the mamas can heal. But even with giving them a little bit of a break and then breeding them all year round, we'll be able to have pretty much all the meat that our family will need. We would probably still supplement with some grass-fed beef or pork if we could find some locally, but I'm super excited that our meat is pretty much going to be self-sufficient. This has been our dream for a long time to do this, and rabbits are just so low maintenance compared to a lot of other animals like pigs or goats. And so I'm really excited that we are going to be able to raise so much of our family's meat. So here's Blackbeard's cage, and I wanted to show you guys the watering system that my husband made. So there's all these tubes that go up to this five gallon bucket that's full of water and all the water runs down and there's tubes along all up here and then each one goes down to each cage. This is just a really cool way to make sure that they have their water all the time and you have to fill the bucket up so much less often and there's a lot of problems with the regular types of rabbit water is leaking a lot and we haven't had any problems with these leaking so I'm really excited about this watering system. Each of the rabbits has a little mineral block that's attached to their cage so they can have all the minerals they need. Here's their feeders. We get them some good organic non-GMO feed. So my husband built all these cages, which is pretty awesome. I love how they turned out. And there's a section of two that's connected and a section of the other two that are connected. So each of these sections of two can come out so that we can hose them out in the summer if they need to be washed. It won't be the most convenient to take them out, but it is possible, so that's why he built them in sections of two instead of just having them all connected in a line. Mr. Blackbeard's cage is pretty high up, but that's because this door won't open unless it's high. So it's a little bit cramped in this chicken coop. We had to remove the chicken's nest boxes and build a different kind of perch, so it's kind of a step 
stepping stair perch, and then they perch along this whole square here. So it's working out, but it, sh it is quite cramped in this little area because half of the chicken coop is a storage area. So I'm just super excited about this new development in our little homestead. We don't have a lot of land, but rabbits is a perfect thing to do if you have just a little bit of space, a shed or something. You don't have to have a lot of space for rabbits. Luke's going to be building some little rabbit tractors to have outside in the yard so that when they have their, their babies and they're old enough to leave their moms, the babies can be on grass until they're butchered. But we live on just two city lots and we have enough space to have a flock of chickens and we have rabbits for meat and we're doing a bigger garden this year. So we're doing everything we can on this little piece of land. Everyone's just got to do what they can do. So hopefully you guys enjoyed seeing all of our rabbits. I'm so excited for when they have babies. They're going to be adorable. We're going to have a lot of videos of baby bunnies, don't worry. And Sophia is absolutely in love with them. Anyway, I hope you guys are having a great day and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!